One of our favorite things about Canvas is the ability to use some of our favorite programs directly inside of our Canvas course so that our students don't have to have multiple tabs open and you know, accidentally close out of one. So um, what we like to use is, or well, the way you get your special programs in there is to go into settings in your course. Here, you're going to go into apps. Okay, now you can go ahead and see which um, apps have already been installed for you um, at the district level. But if you just keep it on all, you can search your tools. So for the next activity, I wanted to use Epic, which is the free um, online library for students and teachers. So um, I'm going to search Epic here. Now notice when I search for Epic, there is not an app for that already built. But there is a way that you can use a um, Canvas to use some of our special pro or favorite programs, even if they don't already have an app created for you. So to do that, we're going to use an app called Redirect. So once you see this Redirect tool, this is what you're going to use. And um, it's going to allow us to use Epic in our Canvas course. Notice I have Epic here on my navigation menu. So let me show you how I did that. I'm going to click on Redirect tool and then Add App. Now we want to change the name to whatever um, program it is that you're adding to your Canvas course. So in this case, we're, I'm going to um, change it to Demo Epic because I already have Epic in here. Okay, now I'm also going to need the URL. So to do that, let me go open Epic. So go ahead and go into my account that way I can get to all of my links. My teacher login. Okay, so we're just going to keep this here. Um, I'm going to go in and find the URL that I want to share with my students. Okay, so to get to that URL, I'm going to click on my students and then scroll down to student login. Notice we have a URL here, so I'm going to right click and copy that link address. Now your students will also need to know your class code to make sure you have your class code handy. And then I'm going to paste that URL right in um, this box. Now I'm going to uncheck this force open in a new tab, that way they can stay directly in Canvas. And this is also a tool that I'm going to use throughout the school year. So I also would like to add it to my course navigation menu. That's how I got it over here onto the side. So we're going to click add app. There we go. You can also click to view your app configurations. So you can see my Epic here. And then this is the one I just created. And I can select, I can edit it if I need to. And I can see where all it will be placed in my course clicking there. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my navigation menu. And it does take just a minute for it to load in your settings of your course. So you may need to go out of your course and come back in. There's, here it is. All I did, I clicked home. And here's my demo epic right here. But I'm going to make sure in my navigation menu that it is exactly where I want it. So um, obviously you would not have two epic um, options here for your students to click on. But you could choose if you wanted it directly after modules or if you have other things showing in your course, um, you could decide where you want that to be located. So I'm going to go ahead and once you have saved that or decided where you're going to have that located at in your course navigation, you're going to click save. Okay, now I'm going to go home. Okay, so now anytime your students click on the Epic um, link in your navigation menu, it is going to open directly inside of Canvas. Now we're going to see the teacher view, but your student here would just enter their class code for them to join your class and click go. And it's going to then save their information and they'll see this each time that they log in to Epic um, in your Canvas course. They won't have to continue to join the class each time. So now let's take a look at how I created the assignment. Okay, so this was the Diary of a Spider. 
Here, I decided to make this an assignment because I wanted students to be able to mark that they have completed this before they took the context clues quiz. Um, so that is why it is an assignment and not just a page or a link. So let's take a look at my assignment settings here. So I'm not actually change this and put Diary of the Spider read aloud. Okay. So I put uh, my directions again, listen to the story, Diary of a Spider on Epic, then complete the vocabulary quiz. Now you could add a link to go directly to the story from Epic if you're not sure how to do that or how to get that link. You would just search for the book that you want them to read. There it is. Click on it. Pause. Um, and you'll notice this share button here at the top. If you click share, you can copy this link. Copy. And that is the link that I added here. If you do that link, it is going to take your students um, directly to the story itself where they don't have to search or click on any assignments inside of Epic. Um, but I just, I didn't want to use that specific link in my navigation menu since I want to use Epic throughout the school year and not just for this story. So if you want to make it a little easier on your students, you could put that direct link here um, if you wanted to. Then you're going to scroll down, make sure you add your points in. For this one, um, I did not want it to be a, a point grade or to display as a grade. So I just wanted them to mark it as complete or incomplete. Okay. Um, now, this is where I'm going to add in the submission type. So we're going to choose external tool, find, and this is where we would go in and find Epic, select. I do not want this to load in a new tab. I want them to stay directly in Canvas. I'm going to keep it at unlimited, assign it to everyone. I have my due date here. Now I can just click save. Okay, so it doesn't look real fancy on our side. If we look at the student view, this is what your students will see. So they will just click uh, enter your class code here and click go, and then go and search for the story, or they could click the Diary of a Spider link here and it will take them outside of Canvas. Um, so if you're okay with that, then that um, would work as well. But to keep them inside of Canvas, you'll wanna um, put the external tool submission type. Move me out of the way. Okay, so that's the student view. And that is how we use the redirect app tool in Canvas.